Denise. And I'm Georgie. And we're the Happy, Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. Couple. <laughs> so Georgie, what are you going to make today? I'm going to make whole wheat flour tortillas. A recipe I put together just trying to figure it out and hopefully it turns out really well this time. Wow, and the reason why you decided to make those tortillas is? The company that we were getting them from kind of went out of business for a little while. I believe they're back in business or getting close to it. And I figured I got to have my tortilla. <laughs> and the thing is, yes, there are a lot of other tortillas on the shelves in stores, but it doesn't have our requirements, our happy vegan couple requirements. That's right. Whole grains only, none of that refined flour mm -hmm. and organic grains, because we don't want conventional, we don't want pesticides and GMO and all that in our food. And then we don't want a whole lot of other ingredients either, right? Nope. nope. So this one just has what in it? Three ingredients plus water. What are those? Olive oil, which is just tiny bit, salt, and whole wheat flour. So those of you who don't want to eat oil, we understand, so you might want to skip this, but we want to just let you know we've really reduced the olive oil because right. you know the happy vegan couple, we don't want to eat much oil either for, we don't want it to destroy our endothelium cells, we don't want the <laughs> extra calories. So Georgie only put two teaspoons of olive oil and you got what, six I tortillas? I got six tortillas, so we 12 inch tortillas. So we figured it out, only 13 calories per, per tortilla, tortilla for the olive oil. So that isn't very much. I don't know exactly what those fat grams are, but that is pretty minor compared to the way most people use oil. Mm -hmm. So, and there is a little salt in it. So if you're very particular about that, you know, maybe you want to try leaving it out or just skip it. But in the stores, you're going to probably find salt in all of those tortillas and probably sure. a lot more than Georgie's going right. to use. Right? I, used, I used one teaspoon for the whole six, so that's yeah. not much. Okay, so we're about to show you that, but we just want to make one note. So we actually were going to share this with you with um, some wonderful black bean soup. and But the recipe that we used, we actually didn't like it. We actually just made it up hoping it was going to be good. So since we didn't like the recipe, we decided not to put that in this video. But Georgie does kind of make mention of it in the next little clip that we're going to do that. So we did it. We may later, but you can also use these tortillas with a split pea soup that we recently made, uh -huh. right? And then sure. George is going to show you a couple other ways to do it um, towards the end of this video. And just remember one more thing, folks. Complex carbs, which is whole wheat flour, are your, your friend, friends. not your enemy. Now, <laughs> unless you have like a really serious issue with gluten or, you know, such bad inflammation, and you've already pointed it out with testing with yourself that whole wheat flour is inflammatory. If you don't have those issues, you're good to go and go eat those complex carbs because they're filling, they keep you satisfied, you've got the fiber, and again, we all want that fiber. So you already know that, right? Yep, exactly. Okay, let's go. Ready? Let's go. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, everyone, I've got a black bean soup for you and whole wheat tortillas. What I'm gonna do is a couple of little steps here. I'm gonna do the whole wheat tortillas first because they gotta sit for about 20 minutes. We're just gonna mix them up. Uh, what I have is two cups of whole wheat flour. I have two tables or teaspoons of Trader Joe's olive oil, one teaspoon of salt, and two thirds of a cup of hot water. I'm going to put the oil, if, Denise, if you want to come on up here a little bit, we'll get all this mixing together at the same time. I'm going to put the teaspoon of salt in first, two teaspoons of olive oil, two thirds of a cup of hot water. Now this is going to try to go in a little bit slower than if I can, a little bit at a time. Just to, we want to form a ball with this, hopefully. See, it's already starting to pull together a little bit more. And I'll just mention the both the flour the flour is organic. The mm -hmm. uh, olive oil is organic. You know, I we were buying them local here in town, and for some reason they quit selling them, and it's just so hard to find whole wheat tortillas that are organic and don't have all the sugars and all that other stuff that you don't want. 
<laughs> right. If you look at a lot of the packages of tortillas, you may find a bunch of extra ingredients that really don't need to be in there and that just don't offer us the greatest health. Mm -hmm. So even though we don't like to use too much oil in our cooking here with the Happy Vegan Couple, uh, we figure just putting a little bit in tortillas, um, we're willing to do that because it's all whole grain and mm -hmm. organic and we just can't find them without any kind of oil or some kind of fat like that. So. As you can see, I'm wearing gloves because it is sometimes it is tacky and gets stuck on your fingers and in your nails and everything. Okay, I've got a, got a little ball here. I'm going to set this aside for about 20 minutes and then we'll come back and, and cook them up. I'm going to then we'll come over here and do the beans. All right, Jerry. Okay? <laughs> okay, everyone, I'm going to show you how to roll out these tortillas and cook them here. This is my dough. It's going to take a little marble size, about that big, roll it into it. Circle and put a little bit of flour down here. Gonna roll it out. You want to try to get them as thin as you can. And that little piece is gonna become a kind of a big tortilla. I hope so. It's hard to imagine. I think George took enough tortilla out of there. <laughs> wow. So each new roll and you kind of make it bigger, huh? Okay. I'm going to take this, throw it on the hot grill. And how is it getting cooked on this, Georgie? On a, it's on about a three quarters of the heat. I'd say a little bit above medium, a little bit hotter. All right. Now while that one's going, I'll roll out another one. We kind of small tortillas today, but that's okay. I want to show everybody the idea. So this requires some patience, right? A little bit. Sticky, sticky. But it's worth it for the taste. Mm -hmm. My aunts. When I was growing up, we used to just take the tortilla dough and warm the tortilla without using a roller. Really? They knew how to do it. Okay, that one came a bit bigger. Let's see how this looks over here. How do we know when it's done? You start popping up, see the little blisters in the dough? Uh-huh. Give it a second, it'll... And you have this cooking on what? Right now, well, we have an electric stove, it's on our number seven. Uh-huh. Okay. You want to make sure that the grill is nice and hot. See how it popped up off of the top? That one's done. I always keep a towel here to keep them moist. Okay, and we didn't put okay, any here. oil or anything on the griddle. Nope, here comes the so other nice one. nice non-stick griddle. I'll show you how this one cooks up and then we'll go over here and finish up the rest of them off camera. You see the steam coming off of the tortilla already? Starting to form the little yeah. bubbles. Uh-huh. And in a second there'll be one or two that'll pop up. And then you give it a minute or so after that, and it'll, you can see here, it's starting to pop up here. Uh-huh. And then you're just turning it with your fingers? Mm -hmm. It's not too hot? No. It's just dough. <laughs> All right. And turn it over. Okay. We'll come back in a few minutes, and I'll show them all cooked up and browned up. Okay? All right. Sounds good. <sighs> okay. Denise wanted me to show you guys a little bit of trick. What I do with the flour is I just do a light dusting on the countertop. She's all concerned the way it sticks on the rolling pin. Okay, I have a ball. I'm just going to push it down to make a little bit of roundness. Flip it over, get some flour on it. As it's rolling, what happens is your dough starts getting moist where it's no more flour, so it attaches itself to the rolling pin. So you just peel it out, flip it over, get a little bit more flour. 
a little bit more flour. And you can see as I work around, I'm making a circle. I need a little bit more flour. You know, you don't want to put gobs of flour, just a sprinkling to keep the flour or the tortilla from getting too moist. That one is looking really nice. Seems like they're getting larger. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up. I'm gonna throw it on the cook. In the frying pan. Show you one more, Denise. Light dusting. Round ball, push it down, get some kind of a roundness going. I used to work at a pizza parlor and we had a machine, you just throw it in the machine and it'd come out round and flat and perfect. Is there any technique with the rolling pin or just, just back and forth where you feel it's a little fatter, you just pull it towards you, get a little bit more flour. It is looking good. You want to come and look at this yeah, one? Yeah, let's see what that one. That's you a can big see how one. It, see how it's rose? Oh, wow. The bubbles, so. It almost looks like Indian naan. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, well, that's a good little demonstration there. So we'll come back and put the rest of this together. All right, Jersey. Okay. Okay, everyone, this is the last one. You see it's almost it's still percolating a little bit. Let's we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, it's ready to go. Look at that. Homemade whole wheat tortillas. Can't resist. Sorry. <laughs> Great. Okay, everyone, now that I have fresh whole wheat vegan tortillas, what do I do with them? Well, I throw together a little bit of uh, tofu scramble and some pinto beans. And I made a little plate here to show you what it looked like if you sat down at the happy vegan couple retreat and had breakfast with us one Doesn't morning. Doesn't that look good? Wow. Okay, and the rest what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the tortillas and just make a little burrito here. And you can put anything in these burritos that you want. You can make, put hummus and just a bunch of uncooked vegetables, raw, and roll it up. Some uh, to uh, hummus on it. Throw a little bit of beans on here. I drain the juice out of the beans so that they don't get... Uh, the tortilla is soggy. A little bit of cilantro, a little bit of tomato here. Now what I usually do is I'll take avocado and I'll make some guacamole and throw guacamole in there too and it's just delicious. Just bring this over the top like that, bring it back to you, fold one end over. Burritos! Homemade! Uh -huh. How's that? Oh I'm, I'm hungry, I don't know about you Denise but I think it's about time to eat. All right, Georgie. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this. Okay, everyone, there you go. Homemade flour, whole wheat flour tortillas. Uh, I showed you a few ways to, to eat them, what to put on them, how to use them. So I hope you enjoy them. Yeah, they're gonna be good. And one last note, you might have realized that we put on a new video recently called the Immersion Retreat video. Mm -hmm. We're inviting people to Tucson to stay with us for a couple of days so we can get you really started on your whole food plant-based lifestyle. This retreat is for the people who are new to this lifestyle. Those of you who've been doing it a long time, you don't need our help, we're sure, but we wanna help those who are brand new. However, so, you're welcome too. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but you know what, everybody? It would really help us if you could share our immersion retreat video on your own websites because we don't have advertising and we haven't gone and mm -hmm. asked all of you to pay for us to support. We don't want to do that. 
you know, we want to mainly do community service, but we're willing to, you know, help people a little bit more in depth if we can. So anyways, until next time, I'm, I'm Denise. And I'm Georgie. And we're the, the Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. couple. Go plant-based. We're recipe coming up next for the whole wheat tortillas, and it will be posted separately on the Facebook and YouTube site. And Bye, YouTube everybody. is easier, easier to see our my recipes. So right, go to you know, be, on YouTube they're all on one page. Just scroll through them. Where you know, on Facebook you have to keep scrolling, scrolling, yeah, yeah. scrolling for. And we've been doing it for almost well a year and a half. So yeah. go to the YouTube to really see all our videos of the cooking. Okay. okay. Bye, everyone. Bye.